ratio of being in the minority are we comfortable with? Maybe 51 to 49, you're willing to be a part of the 49? Maybe 60, 40, 70, 30. How about 99 to 1? Are we comfortable with that? Hi, this is Barry Phillips with 10-Minute Torah, day number four of the Torah portion, Vayigash. Let's go back and look at a verse that maybe we read over just a little fast yesterday, back in Bereshit, chapter number 45, and let's look at verse number seven. Elohim sent me before you, Yosef said, to preserve for you a remnant of a remnant in the earth, and to give life to you by a great escape, a remnant. Everybody wants to be on the winning side. No one wants to be a part of the team that's getting blown off the field. No one enjoys being shouted down outvoted, outmaneuvered, outmanned, outnumbered. But that's the case. Oftentimes, when it comes to walking by belief, walking according to the word, we seem to be in the minority and not just by a small margin. It would seem at our day that many and many circles that are seeking to be identified either as Christian, Hebraic roots, Messianic, or other such titles, that they are struggling with being in the minority. And so to be more attractive, to be more inclusive, to bump up the numbers a bit, to, to swell the, the, the ground uh, the number of those at, at the ground level. We make a few compromises here and, here, here and there. We change some terminologies. We uh, dust up the place. We, we put on a few sparkling lights. We do whatever it is that we can enhance our image. Certainly you want to put your best foot forward. Certainly you want to do your best job. Striving for excellence is always to be applauded. Being like the world that is around us in order to attract the world that is around us to something different is a formula that Hasatan, our adversary, has, has deceived us with generation after generation. Yah is not about necessarily raising up the majority, but determining, identifying, setting apart those that are the remnant. When Joseph says, I have been sent here to establish a remnant in the earth, to preserve for you a remnant. The Hebrew word here is she'eret. Uh, we would translate that perhaps S-H-E apostrophe E-R-I-T, she'eret. And the meaning of this word is a small minuscule, we don't like that word, small, minuscule minority left of the whole. And Noah's day, out of the potential millions, multiple millions that would have existed on the face of the earth, one family of eight people were all that were taken. Eight. And... That's not even 1%. I mean, it, it, it boggles the mind that of all of the Earth's population, eight people survived. Consider that in 1 Kings chapter number 19 and in verse number 18, uh, the situation is also dire. Let me get to that real quick. And we read that Yah says to Eliyahu, I shall leave 7,000 in Israel, all whose knees have not bowed to Baal and every mouth that has not kissed him. And you think, well, 7,000 out of, again, uh, a million or two plus of people? 
that's not a whole lot. Well, it's better than what Eliyahu had anticipated. And he got into the place where he said, I, me alone, <laughs> as a single individual, I am the only believer in Yahweh Elohim of Israel and the entire world. It's just me. And so without a wife, without a family, without any potential of raising up a fresh seed and lineage and, and remnant, what was, it was hopeless. Yasa said, not so fast. I have a small, minuscule minority left of the whole. 7,000. I've hidden them away and they have not yet yielded. When you go over to 2 Kings chapter 17, if you read verse 7 through 18, you will find that Yah has had it up to here with the northern tribes, and he sends them into servitude in the land of Assyria, or Asher at that time. And when he says that Asher has come down and taken them out of the land, he said, I left Yehuda, the tribe of Yehuda alone, one tribe out of all of the tribes left at home. And then he says, of them, they still were doing the same sins and sent the rest of them out of the land. It's not a good situation. It would seem that Yah is always fielding the losing team. When we go over to the book of Matthew, Chapter number seven, familiar verses, verse 13 and 14. Yeshua said, enter in through the narrow gate because the gate is wide and the way is broad that leads to destruction and there are many who enter through it. Because the gate is narrow and the way is hard pressed which leads to life and there are few, dare we say, a remnant a small, minuscule minority left from the whole. Are we okay with that? Do we believe that we have to inflate our numbers for affirmation and credibility? We talked about this a couple days ago. Yah is not looking for the majority. He is looking for those that are among the select few who have heard his voice and chosen to obey that voice. Those who have the heart of Abraham. He said in the book of Yochanan, if you were Abraham's children, then you would do the works of Abraham. Well, what did Abraham do? He heard the voice of Elohim and he left everything that he knew, his culture, his identity, his history, his heritage, and came out and became a brand new people to become a completely different nation in order to walk in obedience to Yah. Yah, again, he is looking to raise up a significant few. If you have heard his voice, and maybe you were sitting in a pew, or maybe like myself, standing in the pulpit somewhere, um, if you have walked before him and chosen to come back to the completeness of Scripture, embraced again his commands and his Torah, and you feel singled out, you feel isolated, maybe you have experienced condemnation, accusations, slanderous remarks, rejections, and all of those negative things, count yourself among possibly the remnant. If we've done this for the sake of righteousness, to honor, to glorify, and to obey the Most High, if it's for those reasons, not out of rebellion, not out of anger, not out of getting up and running off in a huff, but for the right motivations, consider yourself among the remnant. Yah has never looked for the majority of numbers. Because it's not strength in numbers, it's strength in him. Remain attached to the Most High. 
There is your strength. There is your security. There is your identity. More tomorrow. To the Shalom.